so um, our next speaker <laughs> is another founding father of topological physics, Professor Duncan Haldane from Princeton oh, University, okay. the um, 2016 Nobel Laureate for his pioneering contributions um, uh, in topological physics. And, uh, um, and Duncan <coughs> also received, of course, many other uh, 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 awards. And among them, I want to mention that he received the Dirac Medal in 2012 together with Shou Cheng and uh, Charlie Kane. It comes um, with the, uh, it's one of the photos of it. Sorry? Yeah, it's on one of the photos. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. I mean, I've had a, a long history with uh, Shou Cheng. I guess because uh, we've really been, except for the time he was ventured off into SO5 superconductivity, we've been kind of chasing the same kind of issues, uh, which really involve trying to un unravel and unmask all the great things that quantum mechanics allows to happen that we didn't know, all these surprising new things that have come up and now people call topological quantum matter. So I, I, uh, I first heard of Shou Chang basically in the late 1980s when recommendation letters for two star postdocs from the ITP uh, at Santa Barbara started arriving. There was Xu Cheng, who was uh, championed by Bob Schrieffer and, and, and Shagan Wen, who was working with Frank Wilczek and Tony Z. And these uh, were the, you know, the rumor was going around these two amazing you know, people from China who'd come up and, and they were the people to watch. And in fact, both of them went on to more than justify the initial excitement about these two two star members and of, of the ITP cohort and, and who were both part of the initial group of cohort of peoples who came out of the PRC at the end of the Cultural Revolution and, and, and emerged into the, to, to complete their education and go on to great things. So I, I soon, after, after that, after seeing these letters and everything, I, I mean, I, I soon met both Xu Cheng, uh, Xu Cheng and Xiao Gan, and uh, you know, both, of, both were working on the fractional quantum Hall effect, which was probably after Bob Laughlin's uh, amazing discovery of, of the explanation and people trying to understand it better. That was really the problem of the day, I think, around the, the late 1980s and early 1990s, and both of these both of these uh, two great stars went on to make important new clarifications in this thing. So Xu Chen was always very interested in the big picture. You know, probably uh, I and others were kind of working on a more microscopic level, looking at details, but, but Xu Chen was interested in you know, how, to, how to embed the fractional quantum Hall effect into the much larger field of quantum field theory and in this uh, very inspiring piece of work with uh, Steve Kobelson and Hans Hansen. And, uh, you know, put the Chern-Simon theory, which I think probably Alan McDonald and, and, and uh, Steve Gerwin had sort of got some of the ideas straight, but it wasn't quite in a kind of, uh, you know, calculation-ready form or something until the work of Steve and I think at the same time possibly Nick Reed. So Xu Chen has two great, had two great uh, um, aptitudes, I guess which maybe I don't have and, you know, were special to him in, in many ways, that he, he first of all, uh, apart from looking for the big picture and seeing how things fitted in into, you know, how higher dimensional systems, that, like the looking at, looking at the four-dimensional quantum Hall effect, which at the time we thought was kind of crazy, you know, why would you want to do four-dimensional quantum Hall effect? Um, but uh, he also knew how to organize experimentalists and really motivate them to, to bring these toy models that, uh, of, of, of the phenomena to reality. Now, toy models have, have really been a very important part of the, the search for the new physics because you can find something that's simple enough that you can actually carry some calculation to completion and actually see all the, the details of how things seem to come, come about. But they only really come to life when experimentalists have, have shown that they are reality and in the lab. And uh, that was essentially a, a tremendous uh, skill that Xu Chen had. He was able to motivate a huge team of, of experimentalists to go and, 
look at real materials and, and tell them where to look. And uh, this really uh, is, is something that I don't have. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it was a, you know, a, a special combination to, to combine the kind of pure theory with this ability to, to motivate practical searches. And um, for example, you know, I introduced way back in the 80s a kind of toy model for what became known as the uh, quantum anomalous Hall effect. And uh, it, it took some time to come to life. And in fact, the only way it actually came to life was finally after Xu Chen had, had pushed, been part of the push to find the time reversal topological insulators made into reality in the lab. They finally were able to use those topological uh, insulators with uh, magnetism attached to them to actually bring to life this uh, quantum anomalous Hall effect, which has this remarkable property of uh, waves traveling around the boundary in one direction only, but not requiring huge magnetic fields to do that. So, uh, you know, this was uh, it, it, uh, he, basically the how he directed and persuaded Chicken Shui at Tsinghua to, um, to really get involved in this. And we saw, I think, uh, in one of the talks, a, f a picture of them discussing, <laughs> discussing this issue and, and Xu Cheng uh, animatedly explaining to Xu Quan what he should be doing, I suppose, or, or what materials to look for. Um, you know, this is actually a tribute to the big, huge advances that have been going on in, in Chinese science in the last uh, decade or so, and the amount of resources that have gone into condensed matter physics in China is quite, quite stunning. And so to f some of these things uh, being shown for the first time in China as opposed to in the US or Europe is, a, is something that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, uh, Xiao Cheng was really <laughs> I think part a very lead motivator in, in, in organizing that kind of great activity over there. Okay. So I guess I'll say I'll, I'm going to miss our interaction over the years. We, we never wrote any papers together, but we, have, uh, I kept, we kept meeting each other at the common places, the watering holes around the world, usually in nice places that uh, physicists go to and, and meet up. Uh, uh, this is a picture, I guess, in Spain. Uh, I'm not in the picture because I, I was actually taking the picture, but <laughs> I should have asked the, the, some of the waiters to do it. But uh, anyway, there's Steve and Pam and uh, Xu Cheng and this uh, interesting place uh, called the, uh, the, Cucara, the Cuchara de Sal Telmo, San, San Telmo in, in uh, the Basque country after a very nice meal. Oh, which one? Oh, that's my wife, Odile, <laughs> Steve, and Pam, and Xu Cheng, and the ladies of the, uh, the, cu the Cuchara of San Telmo are watching us. <laughs> so uh, I guess that, I, that was, I, I presume there's some older photos which I couldn't find, but this is the earliest one I could find in my, on my computer. And, uh, oops, what do I do for the, oh yeah, there, oops, oops, back again. And of course, uh, it was a great honor for the three people, three of us who were all in our different ways involved in this history of topological insulators to get the, the direct medal together. We all have our three copies of this rather strange medal. It's not one you can wear around your neck or anything. It's a, a, uh, it actually looks like crystalline bismuth, which is now known to be a topological thing with hinge states on it. I believe, it, I believe it's bismuth, but I'm not sure. Uh, the crystals resemble that. And uh, so this was a very, a, a very nice affair where um, we, could all get, we all got together and we had this, uh, the, 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 the topological world of condensed matter was being honored by this, this medal. Uh, this is a... Okay, and this is, but actually quite recently, I actually had a, had a, a nice communication from, from Su Chen really about a, a week before he passed. And uh, this is actually, we were in Shanghai together at the end of October. And uh, as I say, Xu Chen looked, looked his usual self and happy and smiling and so, you know. It's hard to know what, what the situation was, but, but uh, 
he sent me these pictures with a nice warm note and uh, and uh, so it's a kind of last memory I think of him and it's of course rather poignant now to see them uh, this is us in the Shanghai by the this uh, huge uh, uh, tower the the building with I guess telecommunication communications tower uh, I guess on the boat trip in in Shanghai and uh, I'll just say, um, it, you know, uh, I'm going to really miss uh, running into Shuga, into Xu Cheng, and uh, and really discussing with the possible, the, all the, the kind of possibilities, guessing at what might be out there still to be found, because uh, I'm sure there's plenty of of excitement in quantum mechanics that's going to be uh, unveiled in, over the next uh, decade or so, and. Uh, you know, maybe we'll see some kind of quantum information processing, which we all believe ought to occur with topological protection. And uh, so I can only hope that uh, in the future some of Su Chen's ideas and the thing will be developed more, and I think we're going to learn a lot of new things And in years to come, and I'm going to miss uh, not seeing Xu Cheng at our meetings, which we've been very frequent. Thank you.